Genesis chapter one is not talking about 24 hour days. It doesn't say a 24 hour day. In fact, it defines what a day is. It says he called the light, the or day. Okay. Uh, so one day would be one or, and if you read throughout the rest of scripture as well, you'll notice that the word or in the Hebrew in various places is talking about the word of God. It's talking about the light of his presence. It's talking about uh, revelation. So it's a spiritual thing. Day one is the first word that God spoke. Day two is the second word that God spoke. His word is eternal. So day one can be an eternal day, not just a 24 hour day. How could his light only last for 24 hours? No way, no way. God is eternal. His light shines forever, okay? His or his revelation, his word, is eternal and forever. So we're still in day one. Day two as well, okay? So the, I believe that day one, day two, day three, all of that stuff in Genesis chapter one is exactly what it says it is. It is revelations which can exist simultaneously. So there is no time limit. Day one, day two, there's no, there's no chronology there at all. It's all just the revelation of God.